everyone, welcome to 2017 and weekly wrap up episode 49. I am so glad to be doing this again. So I'm just here to show the photos from the 1st of December till now. Um, there's not many, so let's get into it. As you just saw, Paige and now Mia and the giveaway baby, they were all reborn in the process of 2016 being wrapped up and you didn't get to see it so I thought I'd share them here. This is Saskia's hair work. He is now finished um, his videos up on the channel. I am so glad that this week I was able to finish his hair off. He's looking so so good and I used the Silk FX Deepest Dark Brown Mohair that I got in in the review that I did recently. I love it so much that I rushed out and brought all the hair that she had available for this week so um, I was so happy to be able to work Work with this hair and get some more in and different colors to share with you all because it's honestly the nicest hair I've worked with in a long time so yay um, he looks so cute he's got lots of hair um, check out his video if you want to know more about it but here he is he's so cute um, I've also been painting again and um, here is some shots of Sansa by Ping Lao and Chloe by Natalie Blick getting some paint on them. They're about halfway done now. Um, I'm really enjoying the process and how they've come together. They're looking super, super cute and they are sisters and a custom order. So um, I'm having a lot of fun working with their very, very unique um, uh, specifications. One is to represent a granddaughter and the other is a dream kit. So I'm very humbled to be able to be making two very special babies for this wonderful client of mine and I can't wait to see how they turn out overall. So I'm really really glad that I've got this opportunity. Also on the channel this week I've been doing a lot of crochet videos so check them out if you're interested. Uh, here's a shot of Rue from one of them and onto my collection. So I actually haven't been doing too much with them. Here's from the 1st of January where I changed all the babies into their outfits. To be fair they're basically all still in those outfits except for I think Nico's being um, stripped out of his. Um, but they all look super cute and I plan to be spending more time with them. I've got a lot of plans um, and videos up my sleeve for this year so I hope that um, my collection gets a lot more attention this year. I'm super excited to try these and new ideas out anyway. So here's a full shot of them and onto Facebook favorite outfit. It was clearly Nico's dude outfit. I just love this outfit so so much on him. On to my crafty projects that I want to share. Over the time I was off work I made this beautiful hat. I just love it so much. And I also recently made this uh, lovey. It's Princess and the Frog Tiana. I just love it. And there's so many different patterns that I could do so I'm going to be selling these soon if anyone is interested in them. Also here is the Mickey Mouse um, outfit that I have started working on for Saskia. And I got this new diary for Christmas. I am so spoiled and I just love it so much or planner I should say here is my monthly planner spread it was just very simple and then my first week spread I really wanted to start it out with quite a feminine spread and then this week's spread I love two cans and I love this new washi tape I got so yay and for Christmas we got three kittens so this is my best friend's kitten Evie she's so cute and then we rescued this one my mum and my sister has this one here her name is Tink she's so so sweet as well but She's a bit of a troublesome maker as well. And finally, here is my cat Fable. She is gorgeous in every way. She's the runt of the litter and I just love her so, so much. So thank you so much for tuning in again. I'm looking forward to a great new year with you all. And um, I hope we can catch up with some new ideas and some old over 2017. Bye everyone.